Today we're going to be talking about mode of development. Um, purpose of this video is to kind of uh, inspire some different uh, paths um, towards uh, creative improvisation. And um, a lot of times when we improvise, we rely on the things that we know. And uh, this is designed to kind of take you out of out of that and um, inspire different rhythms. Um, and uh, different uh, shapes in your soloing. So, uh, mode of development. Oh, there's no E in there. <laughs> oh, maybe I should take a spelling class. Um, Okay, so I knew that before I even did that. Okay, so we're gonna start off with um, a little line here. So take a look at this shape. Rest there. So this first one, um, we're going to call this augmentation, augmentation. So what's going on here? Um, you've got, the, in this first measure, you've got this line, rest, rest, sorry, rest, rest. So you've got these eighth notes, and look at the pattern, look how that goes. Then you've got in this next uh, next bar, you've got the same notes, except it's quarter notes. And then in the third bar, you've got this three, four. So in this first one, we're just taking a shape and we're just changing the um, from eighth notes to quarters to sixteenths. Um, we're just moving that shape. It stays the si the shape stays the same except for the rhythm is different. Um, so that's augmentation. Um, let's look at another one. Um, so we're just gonna kind of stay with the same shape here, um, just to kind of demonstrate the different ways you can do this. So look at this one. This one is um, rhythmic displacement. Just what it says. Rhythmic displacement. So we've got, if here's a quarter note, rest, rest, rest. So all we're doing is we're just taking this shape and we're playing it in different parts of the three bars. Um, okay, let's move on. Um, so here's another one. Oops.
Okay, so in this one, um, this is a uh, sequence, sequence of motive. So we've got this, we've got this same rest, rest, now we're going down, rest, going down again. So we have this basic same shape, but it's going, it's just dropping down, keeping the same shape, um, but just moving down. Pretty cool. Okay, so I hope uh, you have all that. Um, we're going to keep going. I'm going to race. Uh, I'll race this first one. Um, okay. So, um, sequence. Now we're going to talk about, um, here's another one. Okay, so look at this one. Um, this one is retrograde. Retrograde. Um, so what what's going on here? We've got our same our same um, our same line, and then we've got. So what's happening? We've got our same line, and then here we're just. Retrograde is just working backwards. So we've got F, G, A, F, and then F, A, G, F, F, A, G, F. So that's what, that's all that retrograde is. Um, rest, rest, and pretty cool. All right, let's move on. Got a couple more. Next one. Um, This one's pretty neat. This one um, is uh, inversion. Inversion. Where's the R? There it is. Um, uh, inversion. So, and then, so how do we get there? So if we look at this first one, our our um, our original line here, and then instead of the inversion is just that this one okay is going up by two whole steps right and this one we're going down by two whole steps and then up a a, a minor third in this case um, major third but it, in any case it's a third so this one goes up two whole steps down a third this one goes down two whole steps up a third so that's all inversion is so it would sound These are some really neat um, kind of motives to practice. Really, kind of takes you out of the ordinary path of of uh, improvisation. Um, some examples that you might want to check out: um, people that do this um, a lot in their playing. Um, one of one of my very favorites, and one that just comes to mind off the top of my head, is is uh, Herbie Hancock. Um, you might check out uh, Miles Davis Four and More. Um, I play it here on this video, but that's maybe a little copyright uh, um, 
problem using YouTube. Anyway, so we're going to talk about this last one. Here's our standard little line here. Um, and this is, um, we're going to call this um, rhythmic rhythmic variation. Um, so all that's going on here, oops, I forgot a couple rests. Put those in there. Um, and then So all this is, this is simple. All it is is you're just taking this rhythm and you're just playing any other notes um, but with the same rhythm. Um, so this could go over here. Um, it could be anything. It's just different notes, same rhythm. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. And then maybe you continue. Anyway, um, so hopefully, um, maybe a couple things that you can do um, would to would be just to take a real simple um, a real simple line like this. You can make up your own, and then just practice some of these um, some of these different uh, motives. And uh, play them on your instrument, um, whatever you're playing. Um, and you might find that you'll come up with some pretty interesting results. And just another way to think about improvisation, instead of just um, chords and chords melody and, and, uh, and the things that you've already learn, uh, learned. Um, so have fun with these, and uh, we'll add some more to these uh, next time. See you.